try to stay away from people who are influencing you to live a life contrary to the rules of the Bible. And you may say, what do you mean by that? Let's say you want to follow the rules in the Bible, rules pertaining to us in this day of age. Okay. And let's say there is a person influencing you to do bad things. Try to stay away from those people. And you may say, well, Kevin, that person is my mother. That person is my father. That person is my friend, cousin, uncle, grandfather, grandmother, whatever. You may say that person is that person. Okay. You may say to me, there is no way I can stay away from my brother. You may say to me, there is no way you can stay away from your sister, uncle, whatever. Okay. You may say that. Is it possible you can somehow separate yourself from them? Is it possible? If you are trying to do what is right, if you are trying to avoid hell, is it possible you can somewhat separate yourself from them? Some people may say, Kevin, I have to be around family members. They are my family and I love them. So I have to be around them all the time. If you are being influenced in a bad way by family members, why choose to stay around them? Maybe it is more difficult if you are a child, but if you are living on your own or not with those people, why come around them? If they are influencing you to do what is wrong. If you go to, if that person goes to hell, would you tell God, God, that is my sister, that is my brother, uncle, grandfather, or whatever, and since they are my family, if they go to hell, if that person goes to hell, you have to take me too because we are family. Would you tell God that? Would you? I think not. So if you are going to be separated in the next realm, why not be separated now? Why even risk your eternity on another human? If I were to go over a person's house and let's say that person smokes weed, which I believe is wrong. Let's say that person smokes weed and fornicates 
use foul language a lot, beats on women, sells drugs. Let's say that person do so much wrong. Let's say that is my brother. And let's say that person influences me to be like him. Listen now. Let's say I know I can go to hell by doing wrong. Why in the world would, would I continue to go over that person's house? Because he is my brother? Because he is my long friend, meaning I have been friends with that person for many years, so I must stick with that person. So I should endanger my eternity for friendship, for family? Does that make any sense? How long are we going to be on this earth? let's say 80 years. Is 80 years worth going to hell because of friendship or family or whatever else? No. Let me separate myself. I don't like people using foul language around me. Even though I love God, even though I want to please him, hearing that stuff, I believe in a way, sticks in my mind some. So why would I want to hang out with people using foul language? Why would I want to be in a place that may influence me to sin? why I can see if it is your job or something like that but why would I willfully go to a person's house knowing that they may influence influence me to do wrong and you may say to me well I am going over here to try to get that person to serve God okay what if you are weak in Christ? If you are weak in Christ, should you be going around trying to teach people to come to Christ? If you are weak, I believe you should work on yourself first and get stronger. Myself, I am not saying I am very strong in Christ, but I believe we have to be very careful where we go. Would I go to a place where there is 1,000 witches there? Why would I do that? Now, I may not be very weak in Christ, but why would I go to a place where there is 1,000 witches? I believe I would be setting myself up for failure. Man. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Separate yourself. Separate yourself from family if you can. Separate yourself from old friends if you can. Separate yourself from your mother and father if you can. If they will influence you to do wrong, to go against God, who cares it is your mother or father? Who cares? We are here to please God. We should all want to go to heaven, right? So if you have to break some relationships to get closer to God, so be it. Let me stop here.
God bless you.